Fire away. What was your evaluation of the offense coming out of Stanford? Uh, you know, I felt like we started strong, started fast, uh, made chunk plays or big plays downfield. Um, and then it felt like uh, stalled a little bit, start the second half. Um, got a, you know, got a one execute, but two have a better plan coming out of coming out of halftime. Forty-five plays is that hard to really capture the essence yeah. of what you want to do. You know, the crazy part is I didn't realize it until uh, I got down to the locker room and they give you kind of the halftime quickie stats, and and we had twenty-four. And then I would have never guessed that we only had 21 more in the in the second half. And and part of that was um, kind of what you'd say is grind out the clock for a minute, even though it wasn't truly a four minute deal, but just let's get the game over. Um, so not nearly as many calls as you would like to have. Um, was was very happy though with especially the first quarter. I'm not sure we had a third down that we even had to attempt a third down in the first quarter. And and that's kind of how you want to start with where to move the chains and. Disappointed, obviously, in turning the ball over, but not at all disappointed in his aggressiveness and, and trying to go make a play. I thought their DB made a made an extremely nice play on, on the interception. The nature of this opponent game, you expect to get more plays out there probably? Um, I, I would hope so and expect to, um, no matter who we'd be playing. I, I just don't see that type of a game happening again in the, you never know, but in the near future. I, I just don't see that happening where you only get 45. Plays. What was your level of involvement you got from the wide receiver group, and what's your evaluation of that? Um, well, I, I was really happy with how the wideouts played in general, and a bunch of them got to play, even though we only, only had 45 uh, um, snaps. Um, you know, I, I felt like Philip and Malik did a good job of being being good leaders. They they played the most snaps, but they also communicated well and and talked to if it was Tyrone Howell, if it was Cade Warner. Um, they did a good job, even when Keenan came in and did a nice job as far as playing fast and, and trying to run by the guy on a post and got a, a PI call. Um, and that was just from playing fast and those guys communicating with, with each other about how the DBs are playing. And what kind of performance did you get from your tight end group? Um, you know, with the exception of, of uh, uh, a couple plays I think we left out there, um, I, I felt like they played well. I felt like Nick Lenners really did a good job understanding his role, being a guy that allows us to run the ball. Um, and then he, I, I, I don't know what they did, if they picked the flag up or whatever, but I, I think they were going to call a holding on him on a route that he ran. They ended up calling the, the, the DB lining up off sides. But for some reason, the side judge th threw his flag as well, and, and I don't know, I don't know how that how that worked out. But what I'm getting at is Nick is a viable threat that he can flex out and play as a flex tight end, but he's doing a great job as an inline tight end. Did Skyler seem hesitant at all in the huddle? Um, I didn't feel like it, and I, I felt like uh, for a first game, um, we we changed a lot of personnel. Um, I felt like we handled it well. Um, I felt like he. Uh, Especially that first half, I felt like he came out not pressing, let it come to him, but was aggressive, and I want him to be aggressive. His, his deep balls were just a little off throughout the game, though. What, what's it going to take to get that? You know, I think it's just, uh, you know, it's his first game back truly playing with game speed. Um, I, I felt like there was a couple balls down the field that he could have probably thrown a, a little bit more accurately, and I believe he will as, as he keeps getting more and more reps. The offensive line, how do you... I'm um, happy with the old line from a run game standpoint. I think uh, pass protection wise, we, we still got to keep getting better working as an entire group. Um, you know, uh, Stanford, give them credit. They're, they're an odd team that will also play four down, meaning that they will change their fronts. Um, and they, they, they force you to block people one-on-one. -on -one. Um, and when you're having to block people one-on-one, -on -one, there's five of them. Uh, obviously, you got to all five hold up. and. And I, I felt like we did have more pressure on us than we want, um, but I think we'll get better as, as it goes along. Did, did everyone play that you wanted to play? Um, yeah, pretty much everybody got in the game, and even though know, it wasn't the number of reps that they would like. Um, probably the one guy, uh, to Ashton Taylor, I would have liked to have gotten him a little bit of work, um, but with it only being that number of snaps, and then at the end, it was like that. He's played plenty of football that he didn't need to get in just to say that he was in a in a in a quote true game. Do you see him playing this week? Uh, I would expect he'll play this week. Yes. Skyler mentioned how comfortable he's gotten out checking plays at the line. So what's the process he's got to go through to, to do that? And how much freedom does he? Well, have? he's got a pretty good amount of freedom whenever he sees pressure. Um, and and I mean we're not a team and in. in where he's just coming up to the line and, and saying, hey, man, I think I'll run this. But we are definitely a team that says, 
if we have something that you can make better because of the pressure that the defense is bringing, then get us into a better play. Um, and and he's he's really feeling comfortable with that. And and that's that's part of the you know kind of. Uh, being in the system now, going on a, a third year, and, and I expected that, and he's he's doing that. How much better is he at that than he even was last year? Oh, I think he's I think he's uh, farther along as much as anything because of how much he stayed um, kind of in tune to the game plans each week, even though he wasn't playing because because uh, he did a phenomenal job last year helping Will. Everyone else seemed very confident <clears throat> before Deuce Vaughn's touchdown run. Up in the box, based on their formation, did you kind of have a good feeling? Uh, we had a good feeling that if the safety didn't tackle him, he was going to score. Um, j just because of the where they were fitting, their, their, where their D-line was aligned, and where the linebackers were getting ready to fit on their blitz, um, it was basically going to be just, you got to make one miss. And, and he obviously got in space and made one miss. How, how far back did you have to go to see someone else run that play on him? Uh, last season, two seasons ago. No, you know uh, that the, because of the, the the third and long situation that it was, and when we we ran a couple times, obviously two or three times, maybe four times, I don't know how many, in a third and long situation, how they were going to play, um, they were basically going to be either in a in a three down front playing a lot of DBs very deep, or they were going to bring pressure, um, and we felt like that the run play that we ran would be good against either. So as soon as the pressure was showing. You, you pretty well knew that uh, he had, he was going to have a chance. Was there anything that you didn't see live, but you did on you know when you watched the film that you're like oh, we got to be better in this department? Um, yeah. off the top of my head, I mean there was numerous things that we need to keep getting better at. Right. Um, I I don't know that there were really anything that we didn't kind of talk about or try to hash out and fix uh, as it was happening, um, but. There was plenty of things that we, uh, from attention to detail standpoint, that we've got to keep getting better at as the season goes. How far away is Connor Fox, and do you expect him to, to be a part of the rotation when he is back? Uh, I expect him to be part of the rotation. I can't tell you right now. I, 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 I'll be honest with you. I would. I've not talked to Mindy or or our, our medical staff about him mm -hmm. uh, in the last week and a half. Uh, so so he's not ready yet to be in that rotation, but definitely expect him to be. Coach Common mentioned uh, Will Howard after the game as being one of the best backups in the country. Just kind of curious if he was in any of your plans. Oh, he he definitely is. Uh, every week with the with the amount of run game that we have uh, from a quarterback standpoint, he will always be in the in the in the in the mix and get plenty of reps. Uh, right now, uh, you know, he's probably getting. 30% of the snaps when we're in practice. So he's getting plenty to make sure that he's ready to play if and when we need him to. And as I say, with that much uh, quarterback run game, um, he's always going to be in the mix and, and be part of it. How important is it to you in this particular game to maybe get some separation and where you can play guys like Will and, and empty the bench? And oh, you know, obviously I'd love to have that happen, but the bigger deal for me is starting out from, from the first snap, uh, the first series, just trying to execute and, and let the game go where it goes. Um, you, you know, the assumption that this is going to happen, our ability to get this done, you, know, you don't have to go any farther than last weekend's games to see that there was a bunch of really, really, really close football games that people assumed would not would not be the way they were. Kind of on that, that note, how gratifying is it for you guys who spent time in FCS to see all the success they had last week? Well, I, I think it goes back to what Coach Kleiman talked about the first day that he got here, and, and that's that you know football's football, and, and you still got to block them, you still got to tackle them, you still got to go out and perform. and. Um, you know, it's pretty easy to go look at the, the landscape of this past weekend and not just see upsets, but see games that legitimately came down to the last drive that could have won either way. And then last thing is this, the, yeah. have you noticed because of this, seeing those results last week, it's been a lot easier for players to make sure there's no let up? Or well, I think after last season, our guys understand that you, you better be ready to play each week and, and you can't assume anything. All right, thanks, guys. Great, thanks.